Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more Destiny Child. And there's nothing really new this week. Uh, well, except for a new banner, and I'm probably just going to do one summon on it. And Mona, emergency support is still here. You know, Mona could give me an emergency 25 million gold. You know, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be amazing. And basically a little bit of a count update as well. So this banner is up. I really like this banner to be honest because she is plus three. I need a Diana because she's still uncapped. My Hades is uncapped to one. I have one of these. I want to uncap her too because she's actually a decent dark healer. And this bastard is actually really good at damage. So yeah, I wouldn't mind having him. So everybody on this banner is actually pretty good for me. I'm done trying to go for her. She, she can go somewhere else with that. Let's do our free summon. But yeah, I also wanted to talk to you guys about uh, me actually finishing uh, Rebirth Labyrinth. Third stage. It was a pain in the ass, to be honest. What? A five star? Oh, it's you. <laughs> the sudden, like, depression after just realizing who the hell it is. It's like, oh. Oh shit, a five star. Oh, well, it's you. <laughs> you know. Hmm. I would say he's not half bad, only if he had, like, slide skill defense. Does that still count? Or is it drives? I guess it's both, right? I guess it's just all skill damage she counters. I'm not sure. Hold on. No, I think it's just normal skills. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. Hades is a lot better, though. Just because that reflect damage. Hades almost uh, saved me inside the first time I ran um, Rebirth Labyrinth. Because he was just taking... All the damage away from the other uh, units that were in there. So basically in here, it's pretty much a headache. You have to deal with Jupiter. You have to deal with this annoying boss, uh, Brownie. And you got to deal with freaking Krampus, who does a shit ton of damage to water units. Like, it's, it's painful. If you have a five-star water unit, yeah, good luck trying to get that to survive. It's it's probably going to die within seconds. But the team I used for it, I'm going to show an actual clip of the stream when I did it on there. Uh, I'm going to voice over it just because there was copyrighted music when I was doing it. But the team I was using should still be here. Unless I changed it. Oh, yeah, it was my, PV my PvP team. Then I changed it back. Uh, it was this team. Yeah, here it is. I think I kept this as my new PvP team because she was doing a lot of damage. So, yeah, this is what I'm rolling with for now. I'm actually planning on replacing Eve soon with Miss... Where the fuck did she go? I throw this character somewhere I must have so I know she's plus five or four now there she is I was like wait hold on hold on a second I'm being bamboozled I'm gonna be replacing her with this character soon I think I have another one right yeah so all I need is one more then basically she well actually she's better than Eve right now. All I gotta do is level her up. And that's basically all she wrote. So yeah, she will be replacing my Eve soon. All I need to do is search for one more and that's gonna be pretty easy compared to trying to stack up five stars. So, yeah. A little bit of a count update. I'm actually starting to work on her now. And we actually started to work on these two now. I am still going with the whole bleed team thing. <laughs> Trying to create a whole uh, bleed team for Arena and see how that goes. 
I might end up using Davi in that team just for her drive. Because her drive with uh, Verd is going to be pretty damn funny. This is my fire team, right? Yeah. I don't know why you're in there. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. Because if you guys don't know, his leader is actually pretty damn good. For arena, that is. Or PvP, whichever one you want to call it. So basically, adds on 250 bleed damage to whatever bleed that's going on. So yeah, I could use his or I could use Davi's, which is basically way better because hers has a chance of hitting everybody, I think. Oh no, three people receive it. So either or. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, that's how I'm going to probably do that bleed team. Alright, let's do our one summon and I'll show you guys a clip of me actually finishing Labyrinth and I'll end it off there. I don't really do these summons often anymore. Just because it's it's so rare to get a 5 star out of it. I need 4 stars. To be honest, I've been looking forward to more 4 stars than I am 5 stars at the moment. Damn, I'm not even going to get 4 stars, apparently. Ah, oh, no, it's a 3 star bust. With the, with the 4 star at the end. Yeah, that's normally how my old summons used to go, but now I guess I'm heading back to my old summons, huh? Okay, that wouldn't fish. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't get me get done. I would have to do another summon after that just to get that. I'll probably get it on stream sooner or later or something. But yeah, let's head over to the clip of me actually finishing um, Rebirth Labyrinth. And we'll talk a little bit about it. It's a six minute clip apparently. So yeah, let's get that started. All right, so basically at the start of the video, I'm talking about that I have one water unit and one fire unit to take out both uh, Jupiter and Krampus and Brownie. So if you guys aren't realizing the bosses do tend to evade any like element that is not against them. So let's say if you're using like a fire towards like, let's say if you're using the fire on Jupiter, he has a chance of evading. If you're using the water on Jupiter, he doesn't really evade at all. So that's the same thing for Brownie. Use a fire unit during the fever to actually hit them with every last hit so you gotta have to actually make up for that so right here I totally forgot about my own strat the same strat I used to be underground and I realized it during doing my last run because this was my fi last final like point I could use to actually finish this then I would have to wait tomorrow so I used my last four tries to try and get this done this is my last like run I can do. I use Diana's shield just to take off a little bit of damage. Then next time I know it's coming up, I would use uh, Diana because during this, their skill charges like really fast, and their drive is gonna be insanely fast. They're gonna outdrive you every time, so you can't keep doing Diana over and over and over again. They'll eventually catch up every time. And even if you stun with change, it's not going to last long as you would inside the basics. Because they decrease uh, debuff duration. So, kind of a hassle in a little way. So, I, at this point, I'm just basically building somewhat of a turtle, like a turtle support team uh, with one attacker. 
And at this point, I'm just sitting here like, why do you guys hold on to your drive so long? Because when I use like my drive, they sit there and keep their drive on. I'm just sitting here like, use it already. <laughs> the same thing happened to me when I was using, um, what was the angel chick's name? Well, yeah, the angel character, I used her shields. And then they didn't use the drive. They actually took off my shields by attacking, then they used the drive, and I was just like, why? What was what was the point? Why would you do this to me? So now, I'm basically hitting my first drive, my first fever here. So, yeah, as you can see, change does not do like a lot of damage during fever, but my fire does, and it ends directly right there. And this is where I start to remember my old strat I did inside of uh, Underground. I'll actually leave the clip down in the description so you guys can see the clip itself without me um, just voicing over it. It does have music in the background, like I said, so I had to, you know, voice over this one. <laughs> so you guys will see the original clip afterwards. At this point, I'm basically just building up meter by not dealing damage to Krampus because Krampus can die pretty easy. And plus, I don't have to worry about Krampus getting like a whole bunch of gauge because she's all by herself. There's nothing she could do. And then I'm just going to use Diana's shield afterwards. Just to counter her uh, drive. As you can see, she just holds on to it for a while. Doesn't even think about using it at all. Then I just had to kill her and do a final push here. Ah, I remember this being like a headache to do the last four tries because I was just trying like random teams at this point. So basically, on the first round, you want to try to build like a survival team with a water and fire unit. Then you want to try and get your fever as fast as possible. Kill the first two bosses and save the last one to build meter off of and get ready for the last wave that you could just take out basically either one or two of the other bosses. Then you're pretty much fine. If you could take out Brownie, that's perfect because Brownie's stun, it lasts so long and it really causes like a lot of like strain on the team afterwards. Just because if your healer gets stunned, that's a good chance your team is gonna fall apart. So Brownie would be a priority to kill. So now I'm just trying to finish Krampus again. So yeah, basically everything worked out just fine. It's pretty nice. I was happy afterwards. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Then I start reading chat at this point. So yeah, that's pretty much how I beat it, and I'm going to end off the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for all the support on the series, and uh, pretty much deuces. To the peace. to lose.